right, so today we're going to talk about graphing systems of inequalities. Okay, so we've learned how to graph inequalities before. Um, so now we're going to talk about how to graph systems. And this is where it becomes really neat because when we graph systems, they create these really neat graphs. Okay, so let's look at an example. Let's say we want to solve 3x plus y is less than or equal to 4, and x plus 3y is less than negative 6, okay? So, the first thing we have to do is we have to put each inequality into slope-intercept form, okay? So, the first th for my first equation, 3x plus y is less than or equal to 4, it's going to become y is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 4. And then for the equation x plus 3y is less than negative 6, that's going to become y is less than negative 1 third x minus 2. Okay. So now that I've solved each for y, I get to use my calculator. And I will show you how to graph inequalities on your calculator. Okay, so you're gonna go to y equals, and you're gonna plug in the equation. So the first equation is negative three x plus four. All right, so negative three x plus four, okay? So it's supposed to be y is less than or equal to, right? So right now it says equal to, but if we scroll over, you see how that's blinking? If we say, well, it needs to be less than or equal to, we can change it, okay? so. This right here, if you notice, it's blinking and it's shaded above, right? You hit enter again, then you hit enter again, now it's shaded below, okay? And so you hit enter again, and it just shows you all of your options. There's a dotted line, and then back to normal, okay? So we want this to be less than or equal to, so we want it to be shaded below, like that, okay? And our next equation, our y2, is the negative one-third x minus two, okay? That's our equation. And this needs to be shaded below but uh, as an open. <laughs> All right, so when we graph, it shades it for us. Yay! <laughs> so again, there's a second line going in. Awesome. All right, so now we know what it's supposed to look like, okay? So using our calculator, we know what it's supposed to look like. Now all we have to do is to sketch that, right? So you're going to get your coordinate plane, all right? And your first equation is negative three x plus four. So remember, when you have y equals mx plus b, for a linear equation, you can graph it pretty simple, right? You First, you plot your y-intercept for, so this one would be 0, 4. So I'm going to plot 0, 4. 1, 2, 3, 
4. So I know that there's a point right there. Then I'm going to use my m value, my slope, right? And m is my rise over my run. So my m right here, my rise over my run, is negative 3 over 1. So I'm going to rise negative 3. So rising negative means going the opposite way. 1, 2, 3. And then I'm going to run 1. So I end up right here. All right. Now I need to go the opposite direction to get my third point. So since I rose negative, now I'm going to rise positive, right? So up 1, 2, 3. Okay, but since last time I ran to the right, this time I'm going to run to the left. All right, so there's that point, okay? So this is just graphing a linear equation, which y'all should know how to do, okay? So the question is that since this is the inequality, is the line part of your answer? And that the question is, is, is it equal to or just less than? In this case, it is less than or equal to, so when we go ahead and graph this line, we're going to connect the dots with this solid line. Now the question is, are we shading everything above or shading everything below? Well, since it is less than, we're shading everything below. All right, now we do our next equation. Y is less than negative 1 third X minus 2. So again, the first thing we want to do is we want to plot our y-intercept are 0, negative 2. So 0, negative 2. We know that there's a point right there. Okay, from that we're going to use our rise over run. We're going to rise negative 1 and run 3. Okay, so we're going to rise negative 1 and run 3. There's our next point. Okay, and then Going back to your y-intercept, you're going to do the opposites. Since we rose negative 1 and ran 3, now we're going to rise up 1, okay, and then to the left, negative, to the left 3. Okay. That gives us our next point, okay? So, question is, when we connect these, is it a solid line? Does it include the line? Or is it a dotted line? It does not equal the line. So, since this is just less than... It does not include the actual line, which means this is supposed to be dotted. Dotted line. Dotted line. Okay? And then we decide, do we graph below the line or above this line? Well, since it's less than, we're graphing below. Okay. So our answer is where the two inter intersect. So where does purple and red intersect? Well, purple and red intersect this portion right here. So this is our solution. The mix of purple and red. This is our answer right here. All right, next example. We're going to do 3x minus y is less than negative 3, and y is less than 3x minus 1, okay? So, first we put them both into y-intercept form, so we have to solve for y. So, our first one is going to become negative y is less than negative 3x minus 3, multiply by everything by negative 1. When you multiply by negative 1, the sign flips. Okay, so I have y is greater than 3x plus 3. And then this one's already fine. This one's already in y-intercept. You already solved for y. Okay, so now we graph them. All right, so for our first equation, our y-intercept is 0, 3. So we're going to plot a point at 0, 3. And then we are going to rise 3, run 1, right? So we're going to rise 3, 1, 2, 3, run 1. 
then we go the opposite way. One, two, three, one, to the opposite direction. All right, so we connect those dots. Dotted or solid? Well, since it's not equal to, it's dotted, right? Connect those dots with a dotted line, okay? Then you have to decide, is it more or less than? It's more, so it's everything above this line. All right, next equation. Our y-intercept is 0, negative 1, so we're going to plot 0, negative 1. All right, then we're going to use our slope. Our slope is 3, 1, so we're going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, run 1. And that's a point there. Then we go the opposite way. Go down 3, and then run 1. That's our next point. Now, open or closed? It is open. Okay, and above or below? It's below, because it's less than. Okay, so our answer should be where the two colors intersect. Well, if you notice, they don't intersect at all. In fact, they're parallel. Okay, so since they don't intersect, there's no solution. It's the empty set. They don't share anything. All right. Last example. We have y is greater or equal to x squared, and y is less than or equal to 1 half x squared plus 1. All right, so these are already both solved for x, which is perfect, and they're quadratic, so you have to remember how do we graph a quadratic. Okay, x squared is a parabola with a vertex on the center, right? And so our question is, when we draw a parabola, is it a solid line or a dotted line? Well, since it's equal to, it's going to be solid. So we can go ahead and draw a parabola with a solid. And now our question is, do we shade above or below? Well, since it's greater than, we're going to shade above, right? All right, next one. 1 half x squared plus 1. So now we have to remember our quadratic, right, was a times x minus h squared plus k. So that plus 1 is going to move that parabola up 1, right? So we're up 1. This is our new vertex. So when we draw a parabola, since it is 1 half, it's going to be wider than our first parabola, right? Because the a value changes how wide it is. So it's going to be wider than our first one. Okay, and it is going to be a solid one since it's less than or equal to. So we go ahead and draw our new parabola. It looks like this. Okay, and it's everything less than. So we're going to shade all of this. Everything less than. Okay, so our answer is everything that is purple and brown. So that means our answer is this little piece right here, almost like the little smile. Right, that is going to be our solution our answer all right that's all that there is for this video